We got our leader back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It was weird not being here last week. Yeah. And it was weird not having her. Whoa. Me and Emmy were nervous wrecks. <laughs> yeah. I have only gone back and watched a little, a bit. little bit of it, but you guys did good. Yeah. Yeah. We did. It was fun, but you guys, we were very nervous. Good morning, everyone. We'll wait just a minute and wait for if anyone to else to on. join us. Um, how was everybody's week? Where are you joining us from? Yeah. How's the weather? Is everybody dying of the heat? Because it's like a heat wave, the whole United States. Actually, hmm. we have been it's cooler, today. cooler. Yeah, today. In the May weekend goodness. was like 109. We've been in the 90s and it has felt wonderful wonderful like i've been sitting outside every night yeah ontario canada oh i've been there i have not been to canada yeah. i've been there once <sighs> i've been on the border <laughs> in montana yeah Yeah. We have a lot to share today. Yeah, we got a lot. Lots of finishes. Because we missed the last floss, floss tube. tube. Um, I can't remember why. What what was going on? I had gone. Mom out of town. took me to my shuttle. Oh, that's right. We went out. You went out of town, and Lindsay didn't want to be by herself on floss tube. Pretty much, because mom left. Didn't you leave after? Yeah. Yeah, mom something. left that afternoon. Yeah. Yep. Hi, Erin. Hi, Marsha. Just cut, what did she say? Just cut out your Liberty mini quilt. Oh. Oh, we oh we have it sitting right here. Yep. Hey, Hi. Nancy. Good morning oh, from Kansas. Rolling in. I've been there too. Just a ride by. Just a ride through. <laughs> Florida. Every time you say Florida, I think, Barbara, I think you're the one that is always from Florida. I'm like, I... I'd love I'm to jealous. Go. I know I would. Love I've never to been visit. to Florida. I haven't either. I'd love to go. It's definitely on our list. On hey, Susan. Good morning. <sighs> Canada. Another Canada. Awesome. Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, Florida. Yep. Oh, come to Florida. <laughs> oh, we would okay. love to. Alabama. Let's go. <laughs> Let's pack our bag. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for the beach. Watching, waiting for the funeral to start. Whose funeral? I was Aunt Sue. Oh. The yes, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, what? I, ha I had a distant cousin that passed away. Oh. So she's, I think she's going to the funeral today. <laughs> All right, let's anyway. get started. Kentucky on your list. Oh, mm -hmm. I want to go to Tennessee. Ooh, I'd love to go to Kentucky. Haven't Someone said, I love your patterns. I've purchased several and great for beginner quilters like me. Yes, they are. They yes. Are. Uh, behind us. These two are the same fabric line. Yeah. yeah. The ch Cheerful Charms behind us. Charm Pack Friendly. Simply Charming is another Charm Pack pattern behind Emily. It's like a granny square block. Uh, we do have this small mini in stock. Very and cute. Kits. Very patriotic. Yeah. Ooh, another Florida. It's a yeah. sign. It's a sign. Just we finished need to go. my homework for Be Happy. Oh, You're God. on top of it. I've seen a lot of people. They're on a roll. Yeah. Looks like. Okay, Katie's on. She will be adding links as we're talking. Mm hmm. And, um, okay, so let's get started. Yep. So first of all, I will start with this cause it's already been released and, yeah. um, I've seen a lot of people stitching this and I'm like, we can't keep it in stock. I feel like everybody is loving my all American. Sorry, there is glass on this. So it is, it's got a glare. I don't know where to put it. It's really pretty. 
all American. So my Aunt Sue stitched this sample and it's on 25 I just, count country mocha. If you Madonna. guys want to like, don't want to stitch something this large, you could break this up and do minis, which I think we mentioned last time. So the red, white, and blue would be a fabulous mini. And then Home of the Brave, another really great mini. I think the 4th of July would be cute. Yes, on the 4th. I mean, almost all of it can be broken up um, into minis. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a great little project. Um, we also, since last video, Katie had her... A couple little small releases. Yes. Mm -hmm. This isn't part of her monthly minis. It's like her love series. And so this is... You got a two for one. So you got two, two different, different layouts. I had somebody like not understand. So this one, the stripes are going uh, vertical with the stars all across the top. So, or you can do the horizontal stripes with the stars in the corner. Now, is that all on one pattern? Yes, it's all on the same pattern, Liberty Love. And Mom then, and Katie finished these. Uh, Katie, Katie stitched them and then I made them. Like did the finishing? I did all the finishing, all the sewing on it. And I, we've had a lot of people ask us how we did this one. And we promise we are gonna be doing a tutorial. I'm actually stitching a couple of things right now that we, I'm almost <laughs> done with that we will do a tutorial. Did we already mention that we filmed a whole tutorial? We yes. did and it And mom actually sewed it wrong. wrong. I was, <sighs> I was trying to show the girls when we did our retreat how to do it, it and I, I, I put the pom poms on wrong, and so we can't use that one. But anyway, so and then the what inspired this was, was this was that, and so so I did a matching uh, little mini quilt. This is um, Liberty. Mom is making another one. Yes. We we sold out of kits of this this one, so I'm making another kidding? one. At, um, well, if you're a beginner quilter, this, like you're you're a cross stitcher I'm at just, heart and are getting into quilting, this is a good. This is a great you little could project. Maybe, I don't know. I did it and it turned out like garbage. <laughs> She's very she got, hard on herself. It was bad. And you should have seen her. I did the stripes this way instead of this way, and I was like, I'm not redoing this. And then I put it all together and I was completely off and she literally, what did you do? So I was so pissed that I brought it over to the cutting table and I threw my rotary right through the center and threw it in the <laughs> garbage. <laughs> because Who I, have anger issues? I, it's like I'm blinded by the rage and I get pissed. That, I'm like, that does not come from me. It, it comes, comes from, from my, my dad. Father. It does not come from I've me. I've seen several laptops, computers, and VCRs be banged with a hammer in my life. Yeah, no. <laughs> when they're not working right. That's not me. Um, I, when I don't like how something is turning out. That's some dramatic crap. I am, no one was up here and Lindsay probably laughed her butt off. I was like. <laughs> She told me that night, and I was like, what? <laughs> if I have a mess up, I just, like, put it somewhere and forget about it and, and just never, never look, at, look it at it again. So it's basically the same thing. I just don't need to get my rage out on it. I do. <clears throat> yeah. Any, I, anyway. I actually did the love and another rage moment for me. <laughs> They're gonna think you got anger. I know and I don't. I really am not, but I do. <laughs> so I watched the pom pom video and I did call my mom and I was like, right, you did it wrong, but I'm gonna follow the tutorial. Yeah, and I told her, I said, you just gotta do the pom poms the other direction. So I did sew pom poms on this originally and it looked like mm. it looked like garbage. So I cut it off and re sewed it into a really small pill. It just kept getting smaller. And smaller. I told and her, smaller. I said, why didn't you wait? So I would have helped whoops. you. Here's this one. Here's your little bitty, little bitty. I'm sorry. I just. 
We, Emily, we, lo- we love Emily. We love too. Emily too. So she's, she's honest. She's gonna tell you how, how it is. It is. <laughs> not gonna hold anything. Not back. gonna hold anything back, including her rage <laughs> <laughs> against. It keeps our projects stu- that it, don't work out. It keeps our studio hopping. Yeah, yeah. We love her. Yeah, Ooh. um. <laughs> There's never a dull moment. Start up stepping there. away from the sewing machine for a minute. Yeah, I yeah, she is. In fact, didn't you say yesterday? You're like, I am not sewing. I am not sewing. Yeah, hmm. I was like, I'm done for a minute. So now I'm making the new one. <laughs> they gave me the fabric to redo this one, and so kids are coming. <laughs> so I yeah. made that one. Yeah, that was the tester. Yep. So. Okay. I hope um, I'm not alone in that, though. Does anyone get... Have you ever been so mad about something you just threw it away? Well, you were so I want to tell you, it? hey, like... did you guys see on... I don't know who it was. It was on Instagram or something. Somebody I must follow. I don't know who it was. But she was getting ready to do and finish her project, her cross-stitch project, and it was laying on her cutting mat. And she went to cut the you know, the fabric she was going to use or whatever she's going to do. And she didn't realize her cross stitch was under it. And she went right through her cross stitch. That's something and I cut would it do, in half. probably. I, I did that with I something. would have freaking I've done that. died. Not with cross stitch. That's when my anger, pro- I probably would have just sat there and I cried. I would have cried. I would, I would be have angry. Depending I would on have what, like if it was this, I would have been like, Yeah, eh. if it was just a small one. But maybe, if it was a big but I think it was a, it was a pretty nice size. It was, you know, I I would die. What do you guys do with projects you're not really happy with? Yeah, have you ever cross-stitched something either finished or halfway and you're just like, I'm not loving it? Do you... Like, what do you do? Do you you power through and finish or do you just quit and put it away never to be seen again? It goes into the my This is my thoughts on that. If I don't love it and I'm having a hard time with it, I'm not finishing it. Yeah. Like, I I don't want to spend my time doing something that I don't love. Yeah. Exactly. And so, I don't power through. Like, I never power through. If I don't like it, <laughs> it's never to be seen again. I've had a couple. And then eventually, it gets probably donated or... Yeah. Or we see a piece of the Ada cloth or a piece of the cross-stitch cloth that has, like... A half a little bit and yeah. it's just thrown into the <laughs> so Linda said she's more like Lindsay are we um, spirit sisters <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> let's see Melanie said if I don't love it I just stop and choose different project I love me too yep Susan said put it aside for a few days and come back to it if it totally doesn't make me happy it goes in the trash can Exactly. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yes, donate pile. In fact, I went through a lot of my whips, and I feel like your style changes and evolves, mm-hmm. and and mine's even changed I, from this year. I decided if I don't love it, if I, I'm not gonna finish it, so it's going in the get rid of pile, either donated or. If we can't, like, if it's not salvageable or whatever, it's just gone. Yeah. <laughs> so. Aunt Sue put, she puts hers in timeout permanently. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will go back and be like, okay, do I like it? No, no, no. But, like, yeah. most of the time, if I'm not vibing with something, yeah. my um, coping mechanism is to ignore it. Yeah. Yeah. It don't exist. Mm-hmm. And then Emmy finds a big pile of don't exist piles. <laughs> oh, <sh. sighs> okay. What's anyway. next? Okay. Um, for those of you who are subscribed to our newsletter, you got this freebie. Was it last week? You guys, my like sense of time is really yeah. not good right now. I don't know when this was released. Last week or the week before? I can't remember. It was when I left. Right. Oh. Okay, so this is <laughs> Long May She Wave. Is that what I named Long. it? Um, yeah, it was a freebie. Like... I designed this. This S looks upside down. I didn't realize it until Mom finished I stitching finished it. it. And she's like, you know, this it. S looks upside down. I was and like, I'm well, like, you know, and I stitched it. I was like, oh, she must have meant to have it that way. So I just kept stitching it. So the pattern comes with both ways. Yeah. 
this with the upside down S or the right side? <laughs> and I, I'm gonna tell you right now, this thing that gave my brain a whatever because the red little blocks, it's like they go one way and then you flip it the other way. And so it was like, and, and I'm not the only one. I have yeah. a, my nephew's wife, uh, she did this and she just sent us a picture and she just finished it this morning. And she was having the same problem. She's like, I've never unpicked so much in my life. And I says, you, I says, I just, I could, my brain couldn't think how that flipped. Yeah. Has anyone made it? I like the back. It's cute. I did the back and I gave up some of my beloved uh, wool, wool <laughs> and finished the back. Oh, it's got fuzz on it. And um, I like the back. I do so, too. Is that mine? Yeah. Okay. I've just had it downstairs oh. in my little patriotic corner, there but is here some you go. Things, <laughs> <laughs> there is some things that I'm like, yeah, you guys can have it, whatever, you know, because I just have a little 10 by 10 space. And, uh, <laughs> like, I call it that. And so, but I do want this since it took me forever. So. It's cute. Yeah, it's very it cute. cute. I love the colors. It's It'd very Americana. Um, if you did, like, small, like Lugana, the one over one. And it turned out really little. Oh, yeah. It would be so cute. Yeah, that one is on 14 count country mocha. Yeah. yeah. So this is what the size is for con or 14 count. Yeah. So it'd be really pretty done on it. You a could do small. it tiny and do a tiny little pillow. It'd be yeah. So cute. It'd be really pretty. So, but I um, will not be doing it again. I, I should <laughs> say I should, but I let's probably face it. it. I am in Still a have... stitching slump. The summer is just. Well, the kids are needing more attention. Yeah, and, everything. and I just—they're out of school, and I've it's already said hard. it. I'm a winter stitcher. It's hard for me to relax in the summer because it's like it's light out. You I want to be outside. Yeah, like, so I've been spending a ton of time outside, and yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Been nice. So last year, I wanted to show this. This was actually our first real release, wasn't was it? it? I don't know. I it's think been it so was. Long ago. You did that free little spring one you did. Oh yeah, and then this was like my first like real chart. This is summer house. There's four houses. Two of them are available on paper patterns. The spring and summer. We will be printing the autumn and winter house on paper soon, but you can get it PDF. This one was, it's a fun I place. love this I one. Stitched it. I, I love her little houses. I've stitched them all and they, they're they really fun. I want to do fun. them all. I want to like, do this to one. Do I think this one You ought to do it on favorite. a smaller account. It'd probably be really yeah. cute and dainty. <laughs> so Summer House. I just love how this one turned out. It's so patriotic. I love the little quilt and the quilt blocks up top. So each house in the series has a quilt hanging and then the quilt blocks on top. And the house. Yeah. Well, and the house. <laughs> yeah. Erin <laughs> finished the summer house last night. You got you're you have been busy, Erin. I was talking to her last night. Um, is that it for patriotic? Yeah, I I feel bad. I forgot we should have grabbed Katie's patriotic truck. Oh, do you I have can, it in your room? Yeah, I can go grab. I gotta it. sneeze, so go ahead. Okay, you guys keep the conversation. Oh, going. you know what? It's like right there. Um, Linda said I finished the house a couple weeks ago and I love it. I can't oh. wait to do the rest. I can switch it out. I agree. I want to do her fall one. That's probably my favorite one. It's so cute. I do love the fall too. <sighs> oh, that scared me. <laughs> I do have two dogs. <laughs> Sorry. They do bark. <laughs> anyway. Okay, and then. Uh, another patriotic project is Katie's Patriotic Picnic. Yes. This is Mom's. We have paper and PDF. And floss packs. And floss, floss packs. I don't think... Do we? Do we? We're waiting on a color, aren't we? I don't know. We'll have to check it out. But we've I'm had a sure couple... I'm sure we're waiting on a color, but I can't remember. I, I would love just to do, like, the little wagon and the dog. I started stitching the truck I just I just love that the little dog in the wagon yeah. <laughs> so but yeah and that that is also PDF and paper 
Mm-hmm. And let's hold up all the <clears throat> let's hold up so, all our patriotic. Yeah, let's let's hold it all up. How cute! You could just have a little patriotic cross stitch yeah. corner, and oh, I forgot your big one. Is this all of them that we've done? Um, I'm really impressed. Like yeah. it must be our favorite holiday. I'm yeah. just kidding. We've been really good, guys. <laughs> we've done great. Super good. And I think, yeah, isn't Katie doing another patriotic one in July or something? Yeah, yes. she oh, has her monthly mini yes. coming out. Her monthly mini is coming yep. out, and it's the patriotic one. So. And it's really super cute. In fact, I just finished stitching, stitching it. Um, and so she's she's actually coming Monday to do some things with us, and yeah, maybe we'll have to go live on Instagram or Ooh. something. Do a little live yeah. snippet. Yeah. So. So yeah. I've been meaning to share this. I got this for Mother's Day from my husband, and I was so surprised. I was like, well, first of all, a box came and it said DMC on it, and I was like. I almost start like I opened it but it was like a box in a box and then I realized wait I did not order this and I didn't like I didn't know what was in it and well his reasoning was like I buy my wife gold jewelry and she won't wear it I'm not a jewelry person <laughs> no literally he has bought me jewelry necklaces rings bracelets yeah, I'm not, not a jewelry wearer it, I'm not really. Either. It actually, Bob. Like I have really sensitive skin, so most of the time it bothers me. Yeah. Okay, so I opened my Mother's Day present, and it is this DMC limited edition. Limited. Well, well don't I don't know if it's it. limited edition. I was like, oh, and before I opened it, I was thinking, oh, he like got me every color of DMC or something, and so I open it. <laughs> And I don't know if any of you have seen these, but it is gold real thread. Real gold thread. Real gold thread with a book. So this is what actual, is has gold in the thread. How do I get this book out without destroying it? Okay. Oh, I should have had it out. Okay, and then it comes with this book. And the book is um it's, it's like history. a history of dmc and um it's in french and english because dmc is made in france so i just it was so cool so we asked her if she's gonna use it <coughs> and she wasn't sure so would you guys use it would you use this does. gold thread what do you do i didn't do anything like i haven't touched this yeah. Like there's a crack in the in the box. Okay, so here it is again. Here's the gold thread. It is real gold thread. I wouldn't it's use be, it. It's behind. It's I behind it's a little plastic. Thing, it's plastic in like thing. a velvet. I told her she should just display it up here in the. Okay, I'm not gonna yeah, open it. Do I don't want to open yeah. it. Okay, so would you use it? No. Aunt Sue if says your no. answer is yes, what would you use it for? I wouldn't. I would probably tangle it, knot it, and I'd yeah. throw it away. I wonder what it feels like. We haven't <laughs> we haven't undone it because yeah. I, I'd like to see if it feels soft or if it feels rough. Uh, little Annie said she would totally use it. So I actually thought I would totally use it at first, and then everyone's like, "No, don't use it." Well, yeah, like, <laughs> we thought a Christmas like ornament would be cute. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. For now. It's just gonna be in the box. It's just gonna be in the box. We're gonna display it here in the studio. Um, my husband has a really hard time surprising me with gifts because she's nosy. Well, I just open everything that comes well, because, because I don't. It's, it's usually for me. Yeah. And so, like, I'll just I don't even look at who it's for. <laughs> and so, like, I'll open it. I have to tell him, okay, I've got things yeah. coming. Don't it, let don't, don't it. let anybody open it because it's for a gift or something. Yeah, and he'll even say, I have something coming, and then I just, like, my because brain doesn't. Because we did. When we first started, it was around, it was kind of towards Christmas, and we started opening things, and there was gift cards, there were books, I mean, all kinds, and we're like, wait uh -huh. a minute. 
We just opened somebody's Christmas gift. I agree. She said it's a keepsake. I think it'd be cool to have and just never you use it, it, open it, and then one day maybe it'll be worth money. You can trade it on the street. You know, <laughs> just kidding. I'll trade you some floss for something. I got, I got gold be floss. A, be a floss dealer. <laughs> oh, I, uh, no, so I was certainly surprised because... Here I was thinking, oh, he got me every color of DMC, yeah, which would be cool great. Too. Which, when I initially opened the box, that's what I thought it was. And I was really like, Ooh, wow. <laughs> so I think it's pretty cool. I've never seen it before. Um, was it an anniversary thing, too? I don't know. I, don't I need remember. to read the book. I ha I literally need to some spend some time and look at the book and read it. I don't know if it's limited edition. I don't know if it's only available like yeah. as Certainly. an anniversary yeah. thing. Yeah, I, we'll have I to don't look know. at it. So it says that it um, seventeen forty six. So do you think that's when they became? I, that's probably when, when they started their company. When DMC, when DMC started. started in seventeen forty six. Wow. It says two hundred and seventy five years. Wow. So maybe it was an anniversary thing. You know, and I often, like, I was watching a floss tube one time, and the, it was a guy who goes over antique um, samplers. Mm -hmm. And I kept thinking, where did they get their floss, like, in the 1700s, 1800s? Mm -hmm. DMC. I know, but, like, it's not like, oh, I'm going to call and order some floss. Like, yeah. Like, bet, how did they, they get, how they, did they get floss? They had, like, their village. You go to the village and you village. buy your supplies. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they went to their little, uh, yeah. town, uh, Like, merchant. I would really like to research that. See the history. I love history. Yeah, and so, yeah, it would be really interesting, like, because if you think about it, they probably didn't have tons of colors, mm -mm. but... How? how? Like art supplies, like, how did they get art supplies? They had to go buy it yeah. at the market or whatever. Yeah, at so. the market. Somebody sold thread. Yeah. So. It's very That's interesting cool. to me. Um, all right. So next, we started the Be Happy Mystery Stitch. Um, the first clue was sent out. This week. This week. On, what day? It was Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Monday. Wednesday. It's a miracle we run a business. It was on the 8th. It was on the... It went, it went out on the 8th. The 8th. Whatever day of the week that was. Which was... It doesn't matter. It was Tuesday. Really, it doesn't... It was Tuesday. It was Tuesday. Yep. And the next one's going to come out on the 15th. So, Mom did the first section. I did the first section when I seen it, and I... I you know, I have one of my best friends in the whole world. Um, it was her, it was her birthday, and so I know she don't watch these because she's got too much going on in her life. So I'll show you. But I wanted to make her a pin cushion, and so I made a little pin cushion. So with the first section, she just did. I just did the be happy the first part, and it's be happy. And, so and then I of course our favorite little pom poms that I used. And I, I just got to sew the the piece of uh, wolf stuff on the back. And I used those cute little flowers. Spring chicken. The spring chicken <clears throat> flowers. But, oh, my gosh. I'm going to have a hard time giving this one away because it turned out so cute. I'm just in love with the color palette yeah. I picked. You did. I did. Like, you I did, did really I, you well. You picked it? No, I said I like it, too. Oh. Yeah. Like, I meant. I, I couldn't like remember, it. honestly. I remember going yeah. to the store and, like, just picking gold and blues and yeah i i just it did and so this is just the top part and so there's two more sections there's two more sections if you're following along yep. with the sew and along, so or stitch yeah, along yeah. yep i the love stitch along it is I, a lot of people have already finished the first half yep. and i can't believe it but it's also easy it's manageable beginner friendly it's not overwhelming yeah it's, it's not so much stitching you feel overwhelmed each yeah, each week each week yeah so there's three weeks uh the final reveal will be june 22nd yeah it's and really so, cute yeah. i'm gonna have to stitch some for me it's just starting another project. benny he's so cute hey, hey what? you need you need he some needs attention, attention. he's been so needy. come on 
He's like, why don't you guys? I think he wants us to open the door yeah. to let him out. All right, so if you aren't stitching along and you want to, go to our Etsy shop. There's a sign up fee. Once you get that paid, you'll be sent. Um, you can download the first clue. The yep. Second clue will be next week. Use the hashtag Be Happy Mystery S A L. Stitch along. Yep. Um, Use it because we like sharing your stuff. And, so. yes. and before I give this, I'll have Emmy or Lindsay take a picture and they can, you know, we'll post it yeah. or that. So. so yesterday we finished the sister one to it. Are you releasing, when do you, oh, you made the pattern. She's oh. printing it. Oh. Okay. So this, the mystery stitch, there's two more charts that Go. are the same theme. With the same colors. With same colors. Um, I just sent off the one to the printers this morning. It is adorable. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to save your floss after you finish this so you can do the next one. Emily stitched it, and it is literally so, so cute. Yeah. And then the there's one more, and somebody needs to get stitching it. <laughs> it's designed. I just nobody has stitched, stitched it yet. some of it, but... I'm like, how far are you? Yeah. Yesterday I was like, how far are you? Yeah. And I was like, I got a little bit, very little. Like done. literally one word. Yeah. It's okay. Sneaks. It's it's small, doable. Um, a sneak peek. I don't, I don't have, have it have over it. here. It's like. It's this. like this big. It's so cute. Say it's a. I stitched it on the same. All of them are being stitched on twenty five count white Lugana. Again, Lindsay's mentioned doing them on black, and I think that would be cute. You just would have to switch out the gray, maybe. I don't know how you would do the B, though. What would you do the B head if you did it on black? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Have to like, I keep thinking yeah. about doing it on black, but I'm not sure how it would translate. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then this cutie is going to be released tomorrow. So I came home from my little trip, and it's a I different did... Thing. Sorry, and I right. sat there and did uh, finishes all morning yesterday. Or that I did. Nobody like, likes to do finishes. Yeah, and, I'm over it. And um, <laughs> I just want to design. I them. tell them I can finish. I just don't do the the board ones with all the foo foo and everything. I like doing the sewing. <laughs> I like doing the fabric and the sewing. <clears throat> so, but first coffee. This is going to be released tomorrow. This literally has only two colors of floss. Yep. If you're a coffee lover, have like a little coffee bar, you could do it in your color scheme of your kitchen. Um, super fun, super, mom stitched this really quickly. Yeah. It was really easy and like she says it had, it just has the two colors. It has like the fancy floss yep. that gives that cup of variegation. And um, again, it just turned out really cute and I'm gonna gift it to my friend. It's gonna go along with the bee. She has a little, uh, like a cocoa coffee bar that she has yeah. in her new little house. And so I'm gonna Very cute. get This that one finished. will just be PDF. This will not be available as paper. It's just like a little mini. Yeah. But it was super easy. It was fun because there was just the two thread changes and it went it went really fast and it is stitched on 14 count country mocha i actually originally started stitching this and then it and went i kept into bugging the her because it went she to the pile it. that never yes. was to be seen because i was like because i told her I was, i'm a coffee fanatic i am too i love I, my I coffee i don't like coffee i love I my like, coffee they get tastes like dirt they water drink, i mean they, they harass me um all day i i sit and sip my coffee or if i feel like because i don't drink soda and so my caffeine is my coffee and yeah. so so you know i go we have in a and coffee maker up here i have my little career curaid and i just sit there and brew my coffee all day long and so she had started this and i was like where is it where is it oh i don't know i don't know I was like, well, why don't you give it to me, and I'll finish it. And then I finished it, and it just sat there forever. We found it under my pile. A pile of papers. Yesterday. And so I says, well, let's finish it and release it. And so I did. I have and piles everywhere. Yeah. I'm a pile maker. Yeah. <laughs> she is. 
And then things get just unburied. And then I'm like, oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> yeah. And so she she's getting forced because we showed it. So now she's got to hurry and get it charted and finish it. I got to um, get a picture. She'll yeah. get a picture of it and everything. It'll cause... be released tomorrow in the Etsy shop. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, and then a couple finishes. I don't know where you put that. Pattern. Oh, the pattern. Stitching is my heart's desire. I actually stitched this. Wow, it's amazing. I did something. <laughs> Mom finished it into a pillow. This is a hands-on design pattern. Yeah, we may or may not have some left in the shop. I know we've, we've had, we have it. a sale going on right now, 25% off chart, uh, select charts in our shop. Um, so it might not be there. We've yeah. sold a lot of charts, but, um, I did not do the called for colors yeah. because I don't know why I just picked colors I liked. And then look at how cute the back is. The back matches. I totally went through my 30s and let her, I did. Well, I was like, just do it. She goes, I don't, do I'll it. love I don't whatever care. you pick. And so I found some really small 30s print. And so now we just got to fasten Very the back cute. on. But it turned out really cute. And of course, it has our favorite pom-poms. We got to find these. We're addicted. Well, I'll tell you right now. So... Oh, gosh, about a month or more ago when I was down in Vegas, Katie took me to Hobby Lobby. And so we were, you know, just browsing or whatever, and I ran across the pom-poms. Okay, so they are, it's called Mini Pom-Pom Trim by Merchant 41. And they come on a little spool. These were marked at $2.99, and it says three yards are on it. And I actually bought this one. They had a, a sale going for 50% off. Look, I can see it. And so, <laughs> <laughs> and so, just so you guys know, and they had, that's a red one, and they had like a handful of different colors. But Lindsay, she, she buys ours bulk because we use so much of it. Well, I can only get certain colors. Yeah. I just wanted to open this and show them. But yeah, it's, and, they're just they're perfect for that they're just perfect for this because the regular teeny pom-poms are so bulky and big and these are almost flat yeah they're more flat they're not and so they're like easy to sew on the fabric yeah. they're easy on your like the foot of your machine everything it was hard to sew yeah. those on for yeah. me and well and i've tried to do it i've tried to show katie and I can do it on my my foot that's just the quarter inch foot but I think if you was to use like say your zipper foot to where it's just mm. that thin mm. one oh, to where you don't full. have that full you can, foot you can go closer yeah to you the can edge. get closer to the edge and so that would help and again we are going to do a tutorial I promise one day no we will I promise I will it's so we hard will. so <laughs> I, I don't I can't set it up and do it myself. I'm not good at that. And so I have to rely on these here. two to say, okay, I'm ready. How yeah. do you attach them? We sew them on with so a sewing we machine. We will. <laughs> yeah. We. <laughs> <laughs> Emily. <laughs> we. It's actually an easy process, yeah. but. I'm a visual There's learner. There's no way I would have known how to do it if mom wouldn't have told me, so. I'm a very visual learner. Yeah. And so I, like we said earlier, I recorded the whole tutorial, and when we went to go flip it right side out, it was completely wrong. I was on what just happened. Yeah, I was on a roll, and I, I just brain whatever. and But so last night, I because I, I did all these, and I didn't have anything to where I could do a tutorial. So I started one of Lindsay's little minis. Yeah. And I'd started this last night. And so I just have to um, put, you know, do the rest of it this summer on there. And then I will. That's the one we'll be using for as the a video tutorial. tutorial. And so we will get that done. Um, I'm hoping this weekend that we can just sit down. <laughs> And do it. <laughs> being attacked, you guys. <laughs> uh, okay. She has to do what I say, right? <laughs> because I'm the mom and she's the daughter, right? That's not how it works. That's I, how I, I don't know about that. <laughs> that that's where that's where I come. I get. Uh, we wouldn't get lots done without mom. <laughs> but anyway. mom goes on vacation. 
they go me on and vacation. Emily go on vacation I my which do- consists of going to home goods yeah yeah but um <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, yeah, my sister, she wanted me to stay longer, and I says, I got to go home, because if Nothing, I, if I stay, gone. then... Mom is our sample sewer. Yeah. Cross-stitcher. Just whatever. She's just amazing. I just do whatever. Yeah. He's right. busy. Okay. Are you going to so, show this? Yeah. And so then... Um, this one... I know it's sold out, but I, it's so cute. I started this one. I don't know. Is this? It was a new release from yeah, the market. Market, yeah. and so I loved the colors. I, and then some fabric came in. I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it, and this is what I did. Here, I'll hold it's it, so and you can cute. talk about so. it. And so, um, I used the um, all the called for colors that uh, DMC called for. Um, I'm not sure. I'm sure it's. What is it, a 14 or 16 count? 14. 14 count. Um, Looks but, coffee tea dyed. Yeah. Is it a coffee tea dyed? Looks yeah. like it. And then, um, I'm not, what's she the line? She added a small border. What's that line? Sophie. Those, Sophie. She I, added a small, like, pink border. I did a small pink border, did the little corners. corners, and then I put she the back. She still has to sew this on. Yeah, and then I put that on there. And I love it. I'm... I'll fix the back and then I'm sure it will go in my room or it might go in here. So, but it was fun. What did she ask? Emma? She asked if mom was doing flea market flowers. You did kit that, right? I did kit it. I haven't started it yet because I don't know if you guys, I, a lot of you guys follow us and you guys have all been really sweet. But um, a couple weeks ago, I did something, I sprang my finger. Um, my middle left finger and I'm left-handed and I literally did not cross stitch for almost two weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, I went to the doctor, there was nothing broke or anything, but I, and I still have to be really careful. Like if I, I can't do a a tight grip or whatever, but anyway, so I've got that all kitted and I'm just, I'm going to be starting it and I can't wait because I love it. I love that one so so much. But, um, Let's see. Mom has a lot to show still. Yeah. So, and we're, then... We don't know why we're here. No. So this could be <laughs> Nettie's Floss to no. 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 <laughs> So, I started this a while ago, finally finished it, and I still need to... I want to make it into... I need to work on that. I, I want to make I it into, that. like... <laughs> I want to make it into, like, a big, like, square block pillow. I don't know how to explain oh. that. Oh, and a gusseted pillow. Yeah, it's like a gusset corner. Yes, is that the right term? I don't know. I think I haven't done good. anything like that for so long. And I'm so like, I really want to try to figure that out, and I just haven't had time. That looks so but cute. I used all the DMC called for, and it turned out beautiful. I loved doing it because it was such a fun one to do when I just needed to sit and just visit and kill time with, you know, I could fill in. So that was a fun one to do. This Prim Village. Yeah, Prim Village. Lori Holt. And like I said, we may still have some in the shop if, you know, and like Lindsay says, we've yeah. got our cell going on. I don't, did you put, I don't think she put Lori Holt on there. I don't know. Some, oh. some of them are, some of them aren't. Okay. I tried not to do her new ones on cell because. Yeah. And then I did finish this one. I finally got this one done. And I think I'm going to put it in a frame. I, I, I just need to go to the store and, and find a, a frame. And I did switch out the blue for the the, the vase, the pot, because I didn't I didn't care for the brown. So cute. And I actually like the blue better. Yeah. I did too. I think I, I, did I pick that out? Yeah. Yeah, you picked it out. And it was was it the no, it wasn't. It was just all DMC. Yeah, we just did DMC. We just did all DMC. And then like up where this part is where the white is, I was supposed to fill it in with like a white, but where it's on white, I left it open. I was like, you know, I kind of liked it like that. So I did that. And then another one I finished was I started this. And, oh, my gosh, I just, I couldn't put this one down. It was so fun and easy to do. Uh, Simply Sing by Little little Stitch Girl. Yeah. And thanks, Linda. Um, The one thing I did, I used all the called for DMC on this. But the only thing I didn't use was the little gray flowers. They had a gray and 
it was so light I couldn't see it and I wanted them to be able I wanted to see them and so oh, I, I actually I think I just got into my aura floss bucket and just mm -hmm. picked a darker gray and yeah. just like oh that will do that will that'll do. do that will do so that's what I did on that so um, um, like I said I didn't do a lot of stitching the last almost two weeks just because of my finger just giving it a rest and that and um but she did but i did do, shopping. do some shopping and you guys oh my gosh i went up to my sister's and we went to two two different stores and which one are you going to talk about i'm going to talk the about this one first because this is the shepherd's first store. bush we got um i'm sure you guys have heard of shepherd's bush a lot of people have mentioned it on their floss tubes um they're in ogden utah they they were the sweetest ladies. We went on a Saturday, and I'm not kidding. I bet they had, I want to say they had probably five to eight employees, and that place was hopping. And I go really they bad. had a lot of, I mean, they were just really sweet to help us. They've got tons of patterns. I mean, to find something would be almost impossible without their help. But um, so the first time we went up <laughs> they went twice <laughs> yeah we went twice we weren't planning on it but we went twice but um so the first time we went up i i i bought stuff and um let's see this i bought there, so this is one okay of the so patterns. this is plum street samplers hair summer and to know me is to know that i love bunnies Anything. They're like really long, wonky bunnies. bunnies. They're cute. They are so cute. And it's like a 4th of July. He's marching with his little baby bunnies. So freaking cute. And so I did buy the floss. I, I kitted it. And so I just got to get the fabric that I want to do it on. Okay. And so I did that. And then they had these cute little... Um, this is by Raise the Roof. Where's the Christmas one? Oh, okay, so it's in a Santa one. clothes. It, they're Santa clothes and they're on a clothesline. And they are so cute. They had the Santa one. They had a 4th of July Uncle Sam one that was darling and super cute. And then they had, I think my favorite was the witch's laundry. Oh my gosh. It was so That's adorable. Cute. I've seen that before. I, I need to do this I one. Just, <laughs> I could not pass that Who one Who wants up. to do this one? <laughs> and so I told Lindsay, she, they need to order, because I've not heard of this designer. And so I was like, okay, we've got to They're order some cute. and get them in the shop. Because I've seen the witch one before. They, are they really were cute. so cute. They were so cute. And so, you know, that day we went to another shop too, but I ended up going back on... Tuesday because I had to go back up to Ogden to pick up Emmy's son and meet um, his other grandpa to because he's been up in Idaho visiting um, them and helping them and so I went back up and I was like well I want to get some more stuff because <laughs> my sister had bought now mind you we have these kits or we, we, we well, have some of these patterns. A lot of their we carry a lot stuff. of these patterns, but when we went in the shop, they had them made on this really cool, it's like almost like a burlap. I wrote it down. Do you remember what it's the name It's a was? seven count, so it's really, really big. big. But you use a different kind of floss. Yeah, you use... It, um, well, it's not really floss. What, so is, it, is it floss? It's pearl cotton. Oh, pearl cotton. It's DMC pearl cotton, and um, wow. and so. So let's. I'm gonna do a close up this? of one of them. Okay, so I just. Okay, let me just this. And it's the number three pearl cotton because they come like number three, number four, or whatever. Because I'm thinking it's like the weight. It's like yes, so it's, it's a number a three. So do you just use? The you whole use thread. one thread. Yeah, you okay, use the so whole thread. Do you guys see how thick that thread is? It's really thick. Shoot. Oh, <laughs> she's, she's killing I would me. like to, like, pull one yeah. out and show how thick it is, but I don't know if I Hold can. Hold on. They've... 
I was gonna. Oh, I table. was gonna. Mm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're shaking the table. I was gonna pull these out so you guys could see the. It's the, fine. But anyway. anyway, so I got all the colors to do. I don't know what happened to the chart. I do I've that. actually heard it's kind of harder to stitch on the bigger count. I, Aunt Sue. I feel like your tension. You have to be careful because if you pull it too tight, I feel like you would just like. Yeah. It would like With that, go though, in. Because I I tested. You know, I want before I knew I wanted to buy some. You know, I I asked Sue. I was like, can I? Can I do a couple stitches on it? Because she started hers, and so I did, and it was some, it was really easy. If you have like hard to see, it was easy. And she started it Saturday evening, and she texted us a picture this morning, and yeah. she's done. Let's and see. so she's gonna put it in a she's gonna put it in a pillow. It's just feel so and so she did with that these, all the Saturday stitching Sunday, people. Yeah. I was like, holy cow. But we had so much fun just sitting next to each other and cross stitching and her poor husband sat across from us. Becky finished her yeah. leg. Yeah. But so I'm going to start that and I'll let you guys know the progress on that. And again, I went back up to the store. They were super sweet. Were they like, um, you're back already? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but what was so sweet about it is like um, Sue, she wanted to... Um, kit one a uh, pattern that she had bought and it had a lot of dmc and so the one gal's like what can i help you with and she's like well i'm just gonna go pull the dmc for this and she goes oh give me that i'll do it for you and they pulled all the dmc I need someone to do that for me you know they yeah. were just really super we have to go sweet there. yeah yeah and i so actually like ogden so i visited a lot lots of good food yes very beautiful there's I think it's called Pine Valley Canyon, and it has okay. a lake. What we need to do, let's is all meet do up. A, care, <laughs> a, a stitching caravan. Yeah. Okay, so we yeah. would start like in Vegas at like Stitcher's Paradise, and just work our way up, <laughs> and end up in, in Ogden. Ogden. And I don't visit. know. Is there anything on the way? <laughs> I, I don't know. We could maybe try stitching and quilting. Yeah, because <laughs> there's a ton of quilt shops yeah. too. Do yeah. like a caravan, a bus. That'd be fun. A bus. Yeah. Let's get a bus. Let's get a bus. <laughs> that would be so I fun. really yeah. like Ogden. They have really good food. So if you wanted to go there, I would say go visit. Because there's good food and you'd get to go to the stitching store. Okay. That's cool. And so the last one, the last store this I This is called to. Craft Center of Fine Stitchery. Was. And this is in uh, Salt Lake City. Packing now, someone said. <laughs> so. Let's go. This was the last one I went to. Oh, I, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, guys. This is the first time I'm seeing all this, too, so. I saw it when she got back. Okay. Okay, so um, the last store I went to was this one. And Again, a craft center. Okay, so on our caravan, we'll just head up the craft center, too. Yep. <laughs> and so this is another one of the Christmas uh, stocking, or like they're hung on a clothesline. And my sister did some of these, and they turned out beautiful. Yeah, they're cute. And they're so 3D. They're 3D. And you don't have to do them 3D. That's not the right word I'm using. But how she did it is she... I need something to put this on. Yeah. This is paper. This is... You buy this... And I'm I'm gonna it's have thick. I'm gonna have Lindsay. Oh wow, you can't really tell. Well here, here's see it's see through, it's paper. Yeah. It's not cloth. And so you cut it out. You can't really see. You cut it out and you stitch on these little pieces. And then I you... feel like wouldn't you wanna stitch it and then cut it out? Because I would have a hard time holding yeah. this in my see, hand. And I did. I, I kind of did. It <laughs> well, cause Sue did it that way, so I wanted to test it. Oh, but okay. the one thing, the one thing that I had a hard time with, and most of you might not, is I'm a sew stitcher. Yeah, you don't I, have to go up and out. I sew stitch. Like and she does the sew method. Yes. And this, you can't because it bends the paper. So you have to go in and back out and in and back wow, out. Wow, you mean you have to stitch like the rest of us? Yes, and it was very hard. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, I got I to gotta do this when I'm home and I'm alone and... 
or whatever, but that comes in different colors. It does come with different sizes, but... Um, My gosh, you went on a shopping screen. I know. Lindsay, I want to see if she can find some of this, if you guys would be interested in, you know, buying... I'm just wondering what else besides, well, is it just you used know, for this or why well, else would you stitch on paper? I just thought it would be cute like this, is if you was to do this and do a couple of the bobbins and 3D these, oh. would be really super cute. Yeah. I thought it would but be But how do you cut, I guess I need to look at it more, but how do you make sure your, your stitches, like, because you cut that into the shape, is yes. that correct? Yeah, after you stitch it, then you trim all the sides off. But how do you, like not cut your stitches you have to be extremely careful oh i'm not that's beyond me that's beyond <laughs> me too mom so so anyway so that was it's so cute but so that was that one and then oh my gosh i they had this one finished i think i'm gonna take this out of the plastic so i absolutely loved it this is called last stitch cemetery what? and i <laughs> i even bought a frame at Hobby Lobby, it was on sale for two ninety nine. Okay. To put it in. So these tombstones. little tombstones, they say, started and forgotten, half stitched, too old, and lost interest. Yeah, that is that is you. my life. <laughs> and then they have these little charms. <laughs> They, they have the little different charms and each each package had a different one. Like there's a little mm -hmm. skeleton charm. There's a thimble, That's a funny. scissor that hangs on each tombstone. It's actually very clever. It is so cute. And Last they- Stitch Cemetery. Oh my gosh. That's funny. <laughs> and I was like, I have to do that. It was so cute. I have no idea how We're to We're gonna save frame it. that and put that above Lindsay's desk. Yes. <laughs> I have no idea how to say the the pattern designer Hinzai Hinzai We'll have to see if Lindsay can find them and see if we can order them because oh my gosh, so cute! It was so, so clever, cute. really cute. That's and so again, cute. I mean the pattern was a little bit more expensive just because it comes with the charm and that, but easy to read pattern. Um, That's cute. It was really I feel like cute. I dropped something. Maybe I didn't. And then. I bought this one. I again, I'm a snowman. I didn't care. They had it finished. A well dressed man by the Cricut Collection. And they had it finished, and they had done it kind of like on a. Oh, I want to say like. That a, looks like linen on the pattern. A dark color, like more of a rustic color, and it's you know me. I love snowmen, and they're all dressed so cute. I love and snowmen too. So I had to buy him. So I'll be kidding him. Very and then again, I got the Madame, rabbits. Madame Chantilly. Yeah. I just love Madame Chantilly's yeah. patterns. And I just, I had to have him just to go along with my little hairs. Okay, like. what are these? Okay, so this is a Christmas one. Yeah. Very and, nice. And then here's a... Oh, I've seen that Pardine Privé. Yeah, and we really, you know, me and I don't know if I'm saying really that right. That. I'm it pretending really... I know French. And they had all these done. They were really beautiful. This this cross stitch store also was just very friendly, very helpful, and just super sweet. Um, just loved going into the stores. Very relaxing. We were there each store. We was in there for an hour or more, just looking and stuff. It was really there fun. You go, Maja. So, um, and then. I also, when I went up north, my sister, she gave me some new bags. And I know that you guys have all probably seen these, but they are like mesh bags. And you can still see what's inside. Yeah. And so, I mean, I put everything in it. I'm going to see if I can order these um, and put them in the shop. But if you don't have time to make a project bag, yeah, these like are it. great. And you, like I have everything in it. it, it comes, you know, and I could see it. I mean, I love, I'm all okay, for- Okay, so this is a really big size. Yeah, because it fits the, and then that's the smaller one. But I loved it because I could see in it, and I love the homemade ones. 
I love them. And, you know, well, but who's, it's like I never have time to make new ones. And it's yeah. like these, she gave me like 10 big ones. I f filled them up in nothing flat. And then, so I want to show you guys the last couple times I've traveled, this is what I've done with my sew machine bag. And so if you guys. Oh, do you have it out here? Yes. So do you have a traveling sewing machine bag? Yes. Well, I've turned it into my cross stitch bag. So here it is. So, and it's on wheels. Here, I'll hold it. Okay, so it's on wheels. And what I like about it is it fits these perfect in here. And I mean, I've got like 10 bags that are full plus more. And then it has the pockets I can put like different things in it. And then it has the handle that comes up. But I was like, you know, oh my you're gosh. a serious cross stitcher if you need a wheeled suitcase. <laughs> I was like, this is awesome because, you know, I, I'll go to Katie's or I'll go somewhere for four or five days or whatever. And, you know, it's, it's like I'll take one or two projects. I'm like going, well, I don't really want to work on that one. And so I'm like, I just take the bag. <laughs> now, I mean, I have a small bag, but that's my big bag. So, but yeah, so I had a really good time and yeah. ready to go again. <laughs> Benny just came up here. Sorry. I'm obsessed I, with my dogs. <laughs> I she had, did have a good time. Every time she would call, it was like she was like at an amusement park. <laughs> it, she just was so happy and so excited. I tried to do some little things on Instagram, but I just am not. She doesn't Computer know. savvy. It's just like. She doesn't like to post. I don't like to post a lot and yeah. stuff. And so it was like I just forced myself to do it. And it was fun. We just, uh, me and my sister, my daughter Jessie um, went with us. And then my sister's daughter-in-law, Becky, she went with us. And we just had the best time just giggling and having fun. Went to Zupa's and had lunch. It was delicious. And we can't wait to do it again. And we're going to drag these guys and Katie. We're going to do a caravan up we're there. We're going to do a caravan up there probably in the fall when it kind of cools down. It's very overwhelming to have all of us together. Oh, like, I don't. It really is. Because we all laugh the same. And then we start laughing. And, and we can't stop. can't stop laughing. And. Yeah. <laughs> loud. We're, we're loud and we're fun, I we're think. We're fun, yeah. We have fun. We have lots of fun. Me and Emily had a girls weekend. Yes. With my sister-in-law and mother-in-law. We had fun. We had so much fun. We were at the pool all day. And then um, they, so there's a town by us called Mesquite, Nevada. And it's just over the border. And so it, there's like casinos and. Yeah. They have a really nice one. They have a, a nice pool. casino that has, it's a huge pool because it's. You and know, 109 there, degrees. Yeah. We take our kids there just to go to the pool. Um, and it's all like three foot, so, yeah. um, the whole pool. It's really nice. So you don't have to worry about your kids as much, like, because it's all one level. Anyway, we stayed at the pool all day, chilled, it was so nice, even though it was like 109 degrees. You couldn't walk from you your just chair. Get, you go in, you, you get, get out, out, you go in, you, you get out. Sun, get out, get in. Get and out. I think I reapplied sunscreen like four times. Um, and then that night, the casino had a live band, and he played music from the 60s. He played Michael Jackson, Bruno Mars. Like, it was so fun. Yeah. Like, there was dancing, and we just had so much fun. Like, we hardly even, like, played at the casino. Like, yeah. it was, we just had fun hanging out with each other, and it was a fun little It is fun to go to. I, I, I missed it. I'm she was upset because she, we always <laughs> I, go together. Yeah. And well, and I go down a lot. And COVID by and, has really put a, you know, the, the casinos, yeah. like they haven't it been was, able to do things like yeah. the live music. And the, I think that was the first time um, they have live music since COVID because he was like, you can take off your masks and dance and yeah. have fun. He was like, we've missed this. We've missed this. So like, just being together, and I think well, and it, it was true. It's like we haven't had well, that. And be able to see each other. I mean, that's one thing I yeah, noticed more like, is seeing everybody smile. 
He that did is say the, that. He's like, that you can like, I can thing. see you. I know that's the one thing I've missed. Even going shopping at the grocery store is to when you greet people and and see them smile. I yeah. miss that. Like it's, you don't. You, I don't think we realized how, how much, much we, we were missing. It. I feel and, like, and so that's I. You know, I just it makes my day when I go in somewhere and you can actually look up and smile at somebody and yeah. go, wow. Yeah. So it was a lot of fun and yeah, we yeah. had a good weekend. Um, yeah. yeah, it was fun. So last time we did floss tube, we gave away um, two of Katie's patterns. We did a home tweet home and hello summer. So do they get both or one? Money. Okay, okay I don't, so whatever you want to do. Debbie Adams and Karen Brasher. You guys are the winners. Awesome. What Message we, us. What are we giving away this time? This time, let's give away. Where do you want to what, did, what have we released? I, I don't even know. These. Did I release anything? Uh -uh. Oh. We got uh. these. We've got these. <laughs> like, uh. <laughs> We've got these or those. You guys, I'm so awkward. Okay. But first coffee, we'll do one of these. And what about my All-American? Have we done that as a giveaway? No. This, this one? All right. Sorry, we will do All-American. These will be PDF giveaways. So, um, who's asking the question? I don't know. Coffee or tea? <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Do you like I think we've done that question. Have we? We yeah, probably we have. have. We have. All right. What's your favorite? I have no I I, I don't I don't really know what to ask. You go. I'm drawing a blank here. Um <laughs> You guys are so funny. <laughs> I'm losing my, what is the word? I'm losing my energy right now. How do you get back <laughs> into your stitching mojo? Yeah. Do you, have you lost it? How do you and like you get do, back in it? How do you um, get back in it? I would like your tips because I've kind of yeah. lost my stitching mojo. She'll design. It, it is summer and I, I, I realize that our summers are really busy and so I just, you know yeah so what how do you get back into your stitching mojo answer on what answer on what well they don't answer on this they answer oh, on you oh just like, the comments after <laughs> after the video is posted you'll have to do your comment because we don't there's separate comment mm -hmm. sections yeah. which i think is a little weird but that's yeah. just how it is so yep but other than that we're like. going to have another good hot weekend down yeah. here. Like, Don't forget to like subscribe. and subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified if you want to see us live. Tell your friends about us. Share yeah. it. That's crazy. We're, we're pretty awesome. <laughs> Share it on all your stitchy pages if you would like. So. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget, we're having a cross stitch sale on charts in our shop. It will end on the 15th of this month there was a newsletter that went out this morning so if you, you should don't, subscribe to our newsletter yeah that's you get where a you'll newsletter, get freebies. freebies and information about sales and everything uh katie does our cross stitch newsletter it goes out um, on thursdays, on thursdays yep. most of and time. most of the time on thursday mornings sorry so we better wrap this up uh, emily, emily. emily needs her coffee all right we will <laughs> talk to you guys um, next week with our quilt tube, but we have lots of fun things. See you guys. So we will see you next week. Okay. Bye. 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 Mom's finger won't work.